This recording is about emotion and the theory that we have a set point for how happiness. We range within a specific range of happiness, and I can explain this using a rubber band. A rubber band has a certain length, but other people may have longer lengths, and so uh, also other people have uh, different styles of rubber bands holding themselves together, let's say. Each type of rubber band has a different property, elasticity and length, Let's take the red rubber band first, and it's thick, so it has a very strong elasticity value, and we live within this range from uh, the uh, very happy to the extremely depressed, and we set, our set point is right in between this. Now remember, people can have longer rubber bands, and so they have a larger range that they may uh, live within, but we do have events that make us unhappy, like the death of a spouse, but that rubber band, once it's pulled, it will pull us right back into our normal range, and that normal range then could actually expand on the other direction. We got married, and then it comes back into its normal range again, and the, the normal amount of time for uh, the death of a spouse is seven years to get back to normal, and for happiness of uh, marriage, it's about well, four years, it's not the seven-year itch, it's a four-year itch. But the rubber band might be a little bit different, so for some people, that rubber band may not bring you back as fast as another rubber band because it's narrow, it doesn't have the same elasticity as the other rubber band does. So each person's different in the way that we respond. But there's also some people, a very small percentage, who the rubber band is broken and they are all over the place. There's nothing holding them to one particular area, and so they travel between depression and mania a lot. That's bipolar disorder or borderline personality disorder. And um, that's my explanation for happiness and emotion. Thank you.